Hey everyone, I hope that you've been staying safe in quarantine. As you can see, I'm growing out a beard, because why not? I'm gonna stay in the house for a while. So, I do apologize that it's taken so long to produce a new video, but my work has been very uh, strenuous and time-consuming recently. But anyway, I decided that, you know, since it's the weekend, why not get into it? So. Today I'm going to be reviewing Batman The Court of Owls, originally written by Scott Snyder with art by Greg Capullo and published in 2011. Now this is a story that was one of the first in the New 52 line for Batman and I actually enjoy this and the rest of Snyder and Capullo's run. I also enjoyed the Superman run, you know, briefly in the new 52, you know, the first few issues, but that's just my opinion. Everything else I didn't really care for, but here is Bruce Wayne and some of his Robins, because instead of just going back to basics, you know, the whole origin, they decided to just have Batman already be established although the timeline with all of the Robins doesn't really make sense when you get into it because this is a Batman who's been operating for seven years but there's already Nightwing and Damian Wayne and Tim Drake so it just gets confusing if you try to really think about it but you know other than that it's you know fine and uh, going into the story Batman discovers this sort of secret society that has been in Gotham City for many years, much longer than he had originally suspected because there's a whole nursery rhyme that everyone in the city knows and it's very interesting because Snyder in his storytelling is very intricate in the details. He makes you really think that hey maybe they've been around forever so to speak but you know, it's pretty interesting, and uh, Batman fights some of his classic villains like um, Two-Face, and Clayface, and the Riddler, and a few others, Professor Pegg, who, you know, at the time had only been around for a few years, but, you know, he's a classic now. A lot of people enjoy his stories. But uh, anyway, it features everyone. It has Alfred, you know, the Robins, Batgirl makes a brief cameo, Catwoman. Commissioner Gordon, Detective Bullock. It's got, you know, all the things that you enjoy about Batman. Him being a detective, him brooding, him fighting the classic villains with Robin, and teaming up with Commissioner Gordon and talking with Alfred. It's very intriguing stuff, and I highly recommend it for anyone who has not read it. But if you did read it, then please leave a comment telling me what your thoughts on the story are. And if you have not, uh, please subscribe if you're new to my channel. I would very much appreciate that. And thank you so much for my, uh, all of my subscribers. I do appreciate your support. And if you did enjoy this video, however brief it may be, then please consider clicking the like button. I know that I like to space things out, but it is really tough to produce content with my job taking up a lot of my time and trying to find a time where it's quiet with my family you know not making so much noise it's you know a little difficult to get that but I do appreciate everyone for watching this and thank you so much I hope that you have a wonderful day stay safe if you get COVID, just wash your hands, stay home. I know you've been watching this on the news. I just want you all to be safe and keep watching my videos when they come out. So uh, thank you again and have a great day.